Hello everybody, my name is Chirapat Oprayu from Division of Gastroenterology, Chulalongkorn University and King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital. It's my honor to present a recent publication in Endoscopy Journal entitled Combination of ERCP and US Guided Biliary Drainage versus PTBD for Malignant High Labiliary Obstruction a multi-center observational open-level study. A drainage of high-grade malignant high labiliary obstruction, such as bismuth 3 or 4, is a difficult procedure. The recent ESGE guideline recommends PTBD or combination of PTBD with the RCP for this situation. However, these procedures are still difficult and complex. Nowadays, U.S. guided biliary drainage is upcoming procedure worldwide for an alternative when URCP is failed. Moreover, single segmental drainage for a high-grade malignant high biliary obstruction may not be enough. We hypothesized that U.S. guided biliary drainage, such as U.S. guided hepatical gastrostomy, or US guided hepatico duodenostomy following ERCP drainage can accomplish adequate internal biliary drainage or high grade malignant high lab biliary obstruction. So we compare this procedure with conventional bilateral PTBD. We perform ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage procedure in 19 high-grade malignant high lab biliary obstruction patients compared to 17 patients treated with bilateral PTBD. All the age, gender, bilirubin level, and etiology are comparable. We found that a technical success rate was 84.2% in ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage versus 100% in PTBD group, which is not significant. And also, a clinical success rate was 78.9% in ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage versus 76.5% in PTBD group, which is also not significant. This study found that ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage has significantly lower rate of biliary ring intervention at 3 and 6 months, which is 26.7% for ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage compared to 88.2% in PTBD group and 22.2% compared to 100% respectively. Moreover, a median number of biliary re-intervention was significantly lower in ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage, which is 0 versus 1 re-intervention at 3 months and 0 versus 2.5 re-interventions at 6 months. However, no difference between two groups in terms of complication or mortality rate. In conclusion, ERCP and US guided biliary drainage in high grade malignant high biliary obstruction has comparable technical success rate, clinical success rate, and complication rate. Moreover, ERCP combined with US guided biliary drainage gives lesser number of biliary re-intervention and lower recurrent biliary obstruction rate compared to bilateral PTBD. For the next step of this study, a compare between combination of ERCP and US guided biliary drainage versus other procedure such as multi-segmental drainage by ERCP could be the future study. Thank you.